Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Um, welcome to Post Just Day. My name is Paul Ramsey, and I will be your host for the next 12 hours. Uh, those of you who are committed to the 100% Post Just Day experience, anyways. Alongside me in the virtual broadcast booth is Elizabeth Christensen. She'll be running the back of the house. I'm going to join in and wave to the crowd, Elizabeth. Uh, running the back of the house, bringing the next speakers in, moderating the chat and Q&A, and interjecting from time to time with whatever questions leap to her mind. This is the third, the third online post just day that we have held. And, and while COVID-19 was a global catastrophe in every dimension, it did motivate us to try out an online format for the first time, which turns out is a perfect format for post just day. Uh, we get lots of interesting submissions from around the world. We had over a thousand people signed up to take in the talks uh, and ask questions virtually. There, there is no way we could do any in-person post just event that would be nearly so successful. So post just day will stay online. Um, I do also encourage all the presenters to consider, you know, also submitting their talks to the in-person Phosphor G event of their choice, international or regional, to share their knowledge in person as well. Uh, post this day is presented to you today, thanks to Crunchy Data, the home of professional enterprise Postgres support, and makers of Crunchy Bridge, the cloud Postgres service for the discerning nerd. Uh, Crunchy has made my and Elizabeth's time available to organize this event and the staff time to edit and prepare and upload the videos for posterity afterwards. So once again, thank you, Crunchy, for helping make Post This Day a reality for another year. Um, so if you combine the hundreds of viewers we have live with the many hundreds that watch the content later, these talks uh, end up in front of a really big audience. Um, Post Just is pretty big. Um, every cloud database supports it. Every operating system can run it. And everyone who makes a new cloud spatial database makes sure to talk about how their new thing is post just compatible. So the knowledge you gain here today is useful everywhere you go. Um, I've been pleased to hear more and more GIS and data science teachers talk about bringing spatial SQL and post just in particular into their classes. So even though post just is like over 20 years old now, it remains a really relevant and powerful tool. And that's what we're here to celebrate today. 